Hello, welcome back to Understanding the Case Study Interview. We have walked through what a case study interview is, why organizations use it to recruit candidates, and recommended steps for answering the case study interview. The next uh, portion of this video will focus specifically on clarifying the objective. So this uh, step right here, and then also um, we'll, we'll go. We'll do that by diving into a sample case. So the first step I'll do is clear the canvas so that we can get started. All right. So the first thing that that I will that you need to do going into the case is you should definitely have um, a pen and a piece of paper. You you should feel comfortable using that throughout the case, uh, and you know you can have a portfolio or um, a, a binder or or books. Usually, in a, a portfolio looks looks more professional, um, so that's something that that. I would definitely recommend you know walking in feeling comfortable and then also in terms of paper some people feel more comfortable using graph paper because if you're going to draw and and share some of that with the with the interviewer it it, it might help you um, if you if you don't like using graph paper you know feel free not to use it but also feel just make sure you're comfortable with the tools um, that you're given so I'm going to jump right in to the sample case Maria and Roberto own a chain of leading, uh, a leading chain of national restaurants. They're Tex-Mex restaurants, 150 stores across the U.S. They sell enchiladas, fajitas, and burritos, and they are interested in growing. They have hired you, the, well, the president of the company has hired you to evaluate a new store they are targeting for acquisition. So now that you've heard that, if you are like me, you might be in a situation where, you know, let's say this is, you know, this is this is me uh, during my ca first case study interview, and y you might not know where to begin. You might say, "Well, I've never worked in a in a restaurant before. I, it, how am I supposed to know how to evaluate a restaurant? Um, you know, where do I even?" start you know what what what's the what is this going to entail this is not my expertise i've never um you know dealt with an acquisition before and all these are are great questions you know you just might be feeling overwhelmed cuz you're bombarded with all these facts but you know there are key things that you need to know and a good way to organize yourself is is just that is to have um you know your facts on on one side and and then on the other side you have your your guiding questions or clarifying questions so I'm going to read uh, I'm going to read one more time and during that time I would like you to write down your uh, facts on one side and then also your key questions on another and then we will go we will go over what uh, the recommended um, uh, no taking. I'll, I'll go over an example of that. So Maria and Roberto ha own a chain of uh, a leading chain of national restaurants. They're Tex-Mex restaurants, 1,500 stores across the U.S. They sell enchiladas, fajitas, and burritos. They are interested in growing through acquisition, and they have hired you, um, uh, Maria, the president of the company, has hired you to uh, evaluate. Uh, a store they are thinking of purchasing. So, a uh, little bit different than what I said the first time, pretty much the same. But uh, I'll give you a second to write down some of your facts. As you're writing down those facts, remember that silence and pauses as, as you go through the case study are normal. And, and you should feel comfortable with the silence and pauses. Also, Feel free to ask them to repeat if you did not understand uh, what they said or you, or you would like to hear it one more time. Uh, you should definitely feel comfortable on that. 
So jumping in the facts that, that I heard, one, it is a uh, national chain in the U.S. They sell Tex-Mex is the cuisine that, that they focus on. If you don't know what Tex-Mex is, you can write enchiladas or burritos. Just something to give you a context for what they actually do. I heard there's 1,500 stores. I heard that they want to grow. And they want to... They want us to... Let's say, evaluate a new store. So those are the key things that that I heard, um, and, and I also heard the term acquisition. So they they want you know acquisition meaning purchase. They want to purchase this new store. The the questions that I have is, uh, what does evaluate mean, and what do they mean by that? And then also, are there any other objectives and are there any other objectives is a key question I ask usually during every um, case study interview so are there any other objectives uh, is a is a question you should always have in the beginning uh, on your question side so the first step that you should follow once you have your facts and your questions is one is restate the situation and objective. So you would just use your facts to restate the situation and objective. So there's a national chain of Tex-Mex restaurants that are looking to grow and they have hired us to evaluate a new store they are interested in acquiring. So you have just used your facts to simply, you know, to cover step one. What you're doing is you are verifying your facts to make sure that they are correct. And this is a key step as you move forward because, you know, this will drive your, your actions and your framework. Next, you walk through your questions. So first, what do you mean by evaluate? So let's say, you know, a, a response they might give you. Uh, during that situation, they said, well, evaluate. I want you to come up with the value for the store and so, so I know how much, uh, you know, Maria wants to know how much should we pay for the store. So, so you've just clarified the first one. Eval you know, they want to evaluate the store. They, what they really want you to do is they, the objective is to come up with the value of the store. Your second question, are there any other objectives? They might say, well, actually, what we're looking to do is we also want a 20% return on investment. So, and this is also referred to as um, ROI. So, in, in a very, you know, very succinct way, we had our facts, we walked through them, restating the objective and verifying our facts. And then, you know, it, these are, this this is a, uh, you know, you might have more questions on this side, uh, but but just first restating your facts as you understand them to verify them, and then walking through your questions is a clear way to know where to begin. So these questions right here, um, the valuing, uh, coming up with a value for the store, and understanding uh, how to come up with a 20% return on investment is your objective and that will guide your framework as you go forward. So in the next video we will cover uh, how to structure this framework uh, around this objective. See you in the next video.